Hello everybody, today is March 23rd, 2021, 63 degrees Fahrenheit, 17 Celsius. The time's around 3 o'clock p.m. I'm in Astoria, Queens at Broadway and 31st Street. And today I'm going to be riding my bike to one of my most viewed uh, locations. That is the hole on the border of Queens and Brooklyn. I'm going to be doing this route entirely from my memory and not checking any kind of navigation. I think I have a general idea of how to get there. I've only been to this uh, neighborhood once before when I made the video back in August, I believe. Not entirely sure, but... We'll be going through a good amount of Queens and Brooklyn today. Pretty much the entirety of Astoria, Queens. Okay. Looks like we gotta wait for this guy to park. We'll go around them. MTA vehicle just blew through a red light. Granted, I go through red lights too, but at least I stop to see if there's any traffic coming. It's uh, socially acceptable to go through red lights on a bicycle here as long as you don't interfere with any opposing traffic. But for safety, I have a bike bell, I have the loud bicycle horn, which sounds like a car horn, and I have a rear view mirror. And if it does get dark, I do have front and rear lights I can turn on. Looks like this person is pulling over. So pretty much I'm going to take the entirety of Broadway to Grand Avenue in Elmhurst. I've noticed the electric scooters now have been very popular as of late. I actually like the electric scooters a lot. I have one myself, but the problem I don't like with it is that you don't get any exercise while riding on it. Plus, I haven't taken my bike out in a while. And I like the joy of uh, manual getting, manually getting to somewhere myself with my own legs rather than a battery power. As you can see, a story is very under construction. This location here, Broadway and 38th Street, big building going up on this corner. Guess I can go now. Sounds like this car in front of me has something rubbing. That's a big dip in the road. This is about a normal weekday afternoon in Astoria, Queens.
I'm not too familiar of the specific roads once I get past Elmhurst, but I'm sure I could figure my way around with all the walks I've done in previous videos and elsewhere. I think according to the navigation, it should take about an hour and a half to get to the hole, but we'll see what happens. Looks like there might be some police activity up there. Caution tape, so I can't even go down there. Yeah, I can't. So let's uh, make a right on Newtown Road. This is the uh, neighborhood of Woodside, Queens, by the way. Hope everything's okay there at that crime scene over there or something. It's not such a major detour, I can always get around it because um, Northern Boulevard is right here. I'm not entirely sure if this is, um, if they allow left turns here because I'd need to make one. Yeah, it looks like it's a right turn only. Which isn't bad. Let's just cut across this way. And then uh, cross over to Woodside Avenue when there's an opportunity. Another large pothole here, right by 51st and Northern. I always found this Tower Square shopping center to be pretty interesting. They got the clock tower on the left and the right side is kind of like a mirror image of it without the tower, without the clock I mean. do is I'm going to take uh, Woodside Avenue down. I got detoured from Broadway, but it's okay. I can still get to um, the hole the same way. It's definitely a busy intersection. I know a lot of you watching this video are, are probably intimidated riding a bicycle in New York City, and I don't blame you. It's certainly not the easiest place to ride a bicycle, but once you've been doing it for so long and navigating the streets for so long, it becomes like second nature. So what I'll do instead, because I got detoured off from Broadway, it is going to be a longer route, unfortunately, is to take um, Woodside Avenue to Roosevelt. What? Wow, what is going on here? Looks like I can't even go down there. Wow. 
Well, there goes my plan to go down that side. Everywhere is blocked. Can I still make a left on 39th Avenue? Oh good, this is the street I needed to go anyway. Man, this is serious. Anyway, if all else remains constant, I should be able to uh, get to Queens Boulevard without any kind of issue. So I'm going to make a right turn over here. I don't know the uh, number of the street, but I know it by instinct that it goes where I need to go. There's Roosevelt Avenue up ahead, number seven train. Seems like even the 7 train slowing down for something. So I'm just going to go straight to Queens Boulevard. There's Donovan's Pub to my right. Very awesome Irish pub. Definitely a lot of traffic around town for it being like 2.30 in the afternoon. Is that a car with emergency blinkers on blocking the other side of the road? telling you there's like emergency vehicles everywhere let's get a drink of water hopefully there's um, no more obstructions from here on out I will have to signal for a left turn here all right let's just wait here until the light changes there's no way i can make a left turn with all this traffic now Can't go yet. All right, 
we're good. This uh, Queens Boulevard bike lane, I actually like a lot. This car has to stop, we'll see if it does. Yep, just gave that driver a thumbs up. Once in a while you do get like mail trucks in here, fire department vehicles, but for the most part it's uh, pretty clear. pretty smooth. And especially what poor driver you got that? Two poor drivers. This is the right turn lane to merge in. Queens Boulevard can get pretty crazy at this time. I don't think I can go before the light changes, so I'm not even going to try. That person was a little bit more brave than me. Go. I'm going to take uh, Queens Boulevard to Grand Avenue and make a right. You know, plastic bags and wrappings in the bike lane is very dangerous. You can easily wrap around your wheels, lock them up, and then you can wipe out that way. Definitely a lot of construction today too. Coming up, we have some railroads. 
I think uh, the Amtrak and the Long Island Railroad Alright, let's do something a little bit more aggressive and take this lane so I don't have to fight with these cars I'm trying to make a left up ahead. Oh, driver changed their mind. This is a <laughs> kind of a nifty motel on the side of Queens Boulevard. This over here uh, used to be a Chinese supermarket. I'm not sure if it still is. I think it still might be there, yeah. It's a little Chinese supermarket. Uh, All right, we made it across. Got the McDonald's over there. I feel like all the McDonald's now, they've renovated to become more of like a more modern and futuristic look. I kind of miss when McDonald's was more uh, simple and not so like modern and glass looking. I guess the company had to adjust to the times. So Grand Avenue is coming up very soon in about three or four blocks, I'll say. I wouldn't cross right now though because those cars, their signal can change at any time. And then look what they did with the pedestrian crossing here. They made the people cross that way instead of straight. One thing that um, I do see is that this area where I'm cycling now is the bike lane and then to the left of it is a pedestrian walkway. I rarely ever see people walking on the other side over here. And I don't blame people because why walk over here when you have a nice sidewalk on the other side that's protected from cars a little bit better than this. All right, so um, Grand Avenue is coming up. I need to make a right very soon. Let me get into here. To make my right turn. a lot of people waiting for the bus here. Q58 and 59. So I'm taking Grand Avenue to 80th Street where I'll make a left and that should uh, continue for a good amount of the way through uh, Forest Park. One side of the street is Goldsmith Street, the other side is Van Horn.
Sounds like someone's having a difficult time pulling in there. Got a little bit of a hill here. Gotta add on some muscle. All right, so <clears throat> we got a uh, 84th Street to my left, 80th Street, not too far away from here. It's a fire department vehicle coming up behind me. Safe to go now. If I were to keep going along Grand Avenue, I'll actually hit Massbiff. Is this still Elmhurst, Queens? All right, 80th Street right here. Going to make a left turn, so let's signal the left. Now this street in uh, particular, it doesn't go all the way through. There's uh, points in the street where it gets stopped and you have to go like a block or two to keep continuing on 80th Street. Let's go behind these people. That's a unique looking electric scooter. Looks like it has a powerful motor. Don't know how far it goes though. Actually, this hill is a little bit too steep of a grade for my bicycle, this uh, single speed bike. So I do need to walk it across. I didn't uh, expect this route to be so hilly. For the uh, large majority of New York City, that's true. There um, aren't too many hills. The hilliest borough is the Bronx. But then again, I knew I should be expecting something when you come closer to the uh, Brooklyn and Queens border on this side. There's neighborhoods like Forest Hills, Cypress Hills, that indicate it's uh, 
topography. There's also Jamaica Hills too, but that's really on the other side. Not really relevant to over here. I think after I cross Elliott Avenue, I might be in Maspeth. This street, Elliott Avenue, I really haven't been on too much. Oh, this is Middle Village. I can tell because it says Middle Village Bagels. I did do a video of Middle uh, Village before. Mill Middle Village is a mostly residential area. It's got a long park called Juniper Valley Park that's pretty nice. But for the most part, the residential areas, they'll look like this. Most of these homes look like they're brick construction, like two family homes. Hey, what do you know? Here's the park, <laughs> Juniper Valley Park. I didn't even know I was going to come through here. Well, someone's taking a picture of a house there for sale. Yeah, there's two sides to it. There's this side here, which is the smaller side, and then the side to the right where there's more things to do. Got here the uh, basketball courts and the uh, recreational area and down there I also saw like more playgrounds and a large lawn it's really nice and there's a uh, tennis available here too wonder when uh, 80th Street ends and I'll have to go a block or two to keep going. I'm sure the signs will be here to tell me where the bike lane continues. Like I can continue here, make a right. This is, uh, I think this might be Middle Village Cemetery.
Middle Village and um, Cypress Hills, they're known for their cemeteries. For the most part, this area seems pretty, um, pretty good with navigating on a bike. Where I came from, Astoria and Woodside, it was a lot more traffic. At least over here, it's a little bit more manageable. Oh, look at this, huh? Got the bus turning here and busy intersection over here. I just caught some road rage on camera there. When people get impatient, that's what happens. I'm not really sure who was in the right there. The driver on the other side was already in the middle of the intersection, maybe signaling a left turn, and then this driver here needed to get through as well. But yeah, that's a pretty bad intersection. Metropolitan Avenue and 80th Street. I think we might even be going through the neighborhood of Glendale soon. Glendale is a pretty small neighborhood in Queens, mainly residential. Looks like I have to uh, lane filter here to get to the front. Wow, this is a bridge I haven't uh, cycled across. I may have walked across this bridge before, but I don't remember when. Seems familiar to me. Maybe when I was doing a live stream coming from uh, Cypress Hills up, I may have gone over this bridge.
Wow, this is still 80th Street, huh? Still going. Let me check if my battery's still going. This, that would be a shame if it's not recording. Yes, it is. I got a 13% battery left. It's one of the bad things about having a camera on your head. You can't check the battery level. Hey, look at that. The battery just turned off. And it said it had 13% left. Obviously not. It was closer to zero. Back on the road. Let's continue on to the hole. Not the most glamorous neighborhood, but definitely the most unique neighborhood I've been to in New York. So now we're at a crossroads. This is uh, Myrtle Avenue. I think I need to go through there where those cyclists are going. I kind of remember seeing this on the map. Wow. That's a lot of traffic. See if I could find my way around here. Yeah, I think this is it. Make a left. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Now we'll go uh, through Forest Park. It's my first time coming through here. This reminds me a little bit like the um, Vanderbilt Motor Parkway in Eastern Queens. Well, that's definitely a hill I can't go up on this bike. Not even going to try. This is the um, Jackie Robinson Parkway. People may know this as the former Interboro Parkway. Wow, there's a golf course here to my left. Never even knew there was a golf course here. Really, really neat. This is actually a very surprising bike route. I like it. But now I think this is um, Cypress Hill Street and we need to merge with the cars. Great, 
maybe not. It looks like it just keeps going. It'd be nice if it did. So, um, what do we have here? Let me just double check. I think I do have to merge with the cars over here. Yeah, I definitely do. Maybe I'll just stay over here. This, this kind of looks like a highway. This might be uh, Forest Parkway. Goes through pretty much the entirety of Forest Park. Wait a second, I know exactly where I am. I'm very near the end of Forest Park. This is uh, Glen Oaks. This is a city governmental building and um, sometimes they host weddings here. You have to pay the city in order to have your wedding in that building up there. Oh, it's called Oak Ridge, not Glen Oaks. I was close, Forest Park Trust Headquarters. But if I ride this ramp all the way down, I'll head to Park Lane South and the neighborhood of Woodhaven. I recently made a video of Woodhaven, mostly walking through the Jamaica Avenue uh, area. May have been a better idea to continue to my right there on that nice big sidewalk rather than over here. Why is this truck trying to get through? Isn't it a little bit too big? They might be doing the reverse of shame to get out of here now. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Let me lift my bike up over this mud and ride over here. Oh gosh, they're still coming through. I just gotta sit back and watch this. I didn't even know trucks could come down here. The driver there on the back is trying to guide the driver through. It's 
get a closer view. What is going on? This is going to take a long time. Because the drivers behind the, this truck are not going to let him back up. man Gosh. Oh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Up when two cars face off and now this truck needs to make a left I think and That even looks like a narrow street too. Park Lane South is gonna be so hard to turn on to. Can they even drive on that street? I don't think they can. Alright, well, that was a spectacle to see. It was worth waiting the few extra minutes to see what would happen. That clip might be going on my Action Kid Extra channel. If any of you watched my uh, Go to my channel right here and you sort by most popular videos. I have a video where a truck is making a right turn and that video has like almost 800,000 views. All of a sudden it just like got more and more views from somewhere. Wow, pretty hilly here. I just zoomed right down. So, this is Woodhaven, Forest Parkway, Jamaica Avenue up ahead, J Train. I think I do need to make a right here.
Over here is where I didn't really look at the map that closely. So I might get lost. We'll have to navigate a few extra turns in order to get to the hole, but pretty sure I'll be able to find it. It's in this general area. These roads are definitely not in the best shape. They need a resurfacing. Wasn't sure what that driver was doing. Stop there. But if they're not going to go, I am. Hey, it looks like 80th Street is still here, still going on it. Oh, this is a one-way street. Can't go this way. It would have been nice if they did, but... Man, was that confusing. Right turn. I think I might hit um, Atlantic Avenue soon, Sutter Avenue, Pitkin. Oh, here's Atlantic Avenue, okay. Okay, I know where I am now. Right turn. Let's get into the left turn lane. Oh, now this is Rockaway Boulevard. I see the uh, A train up ahead. I might be going farther from this place. Seems like I should be there pretty soon. 
I'm definitely past it. I'm going to uh, make a right turn at the next opportunity. I think it will lead me in there if I make a right turn. Six. Okay, so I actually am going to look for directions because now I am a little bit lost. I think I should be able to find it if I put in a little bit more effort, but. All right, so, um, wow, this is confusing. I make a right here and then I make a left on 77th. All right, right here, left on 77th. I didn't get too sidetracked. But I knew I had to um, continue somewhere. Left turn 77th Street and then a right on probably a right on Pitkin or Sutter. There's Liberty Avenue where the A train is. I just rode through that intersection with my eyes closed. All right, here's Pitkin. I think I need to make a right on that street up ahead. Definitely not this one.
All right, this is definitely very familiar to me now. Yes, this is definitely where it is. some water I definitely know where I am now. I remember coming here. This is uh, East New York. I need to go down one block, make a left on Blake, and a few more blocks down will be the hole. One of the most rundown neighborhoods in New York City. And this car is behind me, not gonna let me make a left. Welcome to the hole. Beware of dog. Ruby Street is the flooded street to my right. It's called the hole because it's a low-lying area. I think it's like 30 feet plus below sea level. Yeah. Welcome to the neighborhood. Pretty unique, huh? Feels like I'll even get a flat tire if I keep riding over here. But this area is basically a commercial zone where they bring cars to salvage and to repair. There's also some um, interesting history to this neighborhood. The mafia actually dumped bodies here in a vacant lot. I think it was actually to my right here where they dumped the bodies and they found them. So, pretty creepy things have happened in this neighborhood. Wow, it didn't even rain yesterday and there's still water on the ground. I've heard that the city also tried to raise the 
neighborhood the elevation but with no success because it's so low already look at this I think I'll go this way just to avoid all the water What a neighborhood, huh? Definitely very picturesque. Supposedly this neighborhood might be haunted as well. It's like random garbage bags thrown around here. Shopping carts. Wow, it's like even discarded like computer parts too. But yeah, that's the hole. And then over here, Drew Street looks normal. Anyway, folks, this will end this video. If you enjoyed my bike ride from Astoria, Queens, all the way to the hole on the border of Queens and Brooklyn, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.